And now, ladies and gentlemen, Maury Distributing is proud to present Leo Lautenslager, truly the American all the world looks up to. This observation was made by a U.S. teammate after Leo had clinched the 1980 World Aerobatic Champion. Okay, now keep your eyes on the Bud Light 200 low to your right because Leo has a very unusual takeoff. He is going to do a little waving and greet to the crowd, but he'll put something in the middle of it. From the time the wheels lift off till the time he waves back at the crowd. Let's do that right now. As he goes into the snap roll on takeoff, now how about the wave? There's the wave as the runner goes back and forth. And now it's time for machine gun style aerobatics. Leo now will be performing a turnaround maneuver off on the left called the five eighths of a loop or a half cuban eight. Out of that half cuban eight turnaround, the Bud Light 200 will be setting up for a series of multiple rolls. This is the airplane that Leo modified year after year, month after month. Never sitting out, but resting on his laurels, but always improving the aircraft. Okay, off on you right now. Leo will again be turning around, setting up four five eighths of a loop, a half cube, and eight turn around. As he comes out of that loop, he'll find himself in the inverted flight position. He'll recover right side up by flight by executing a half snap roll. Watch that for happen right about in here. The full snap this time, all the way around. Now he'll be combining several maneuvers into one. This maneuver known as the avalanche will combine an inside or barnstormer's loop on the very top of the loop as Leo gets upside down. Let's watch for him right about in here to set up the snap roll from inverted flight to inverted flight. Now back down and recovering on the right side of that loop. Again, a series of horizontal rolls. Out of the Bud Light 200 brought to you this week by Maury Distributing, two great champions. Okay, up on the right now, setting up for a vertical roll, executing the wingtip pirouette. Coming back down now, he'll be setting up for the four-point hesitation roll, competition style. And exactly every 90 degrees, let's go. There's one. Number two. Number three, and gets it off on number four. Again, off to the right, the turn around maneuver, keeping the airplane in front of the spectators here, five-eighths of an outside loop. Now he'll recover with a snap and a half recovery. Let's try that right about in here. Looper, one and a half, all the way around. Now, another variation of the loop. This is the square loop, as with his smoke, he draws the bottom of a box. Straight up on the left side is the left side of that box in the sky. He'll fly upside down and invert it to complete the top of the box. He'll let the airspeed pick up a little bit. And then he'll pull the stick back into his lap and watch the earth come up to meet him very rapidly on that fourth and last side of the box. Let's try that right about in here. As he pulls the stick straight back down now, looking at the earth of the concrete and the runway become very big, and finally pulls out, finishing the square loop. Now picking up the horizon once again on the surface of work. And complete rules. Off on the left now, he'll be setting up for a vertical roll. And tapping off with one, and two, and three, and four points of a four-point hesitation roll. The recovery will be the hammerhead turnaround. And on the descent, watch for the down vertical snap. Let's do that right about in here. Okay, now we've seen the round loop, we've seen the square loops. This next one will be an eight-sided loop. The octagon loop starts right in here with side number one. Straight up to side number two. He holds that line momentarily. On the angle is side number three. Across the top is side number four. Side number five. Side number six. Side number seven. One more pull of stick fill. And side number eight is complete. And the octagon loop is now history. Off on the right now. He'll pull to the vertical. He will execute two points of a four point hesitation roll. There's one and two. He'll push forward on the stick and recover with a two and a half turn snap roll on the descent. Let's do that right about in here. There's one and two and a half to the inverted flight position. Now watch for him to set it up into the pitch flight and start the outside or negative key push in this maneuver called an allegorical circle from the horizontal plane. Now he'll push to the vertical plane and change direction by 180 degrees. As he does, the speed leads off to 100, to 60, to 40, to 30. In a zero G environment, now rolls the aircraft down, picking up speed once again as the wings and the ailerons start to grab. Okay, Leo turning around off to the left again. The seven time national aerobatic champion and winner of an Olympic gold medal, telling the world that this was the best man. The best aerobatic pilot in the world. Now, we can...
coming into the inverted flight position. From upside down to upside down. He will now execute. Now the note of those made famous in the motion picture The Great Wall of Pepper, the outside look. Now half rolling again. He will complete that loop in the positive G. And no mercy on himself in the airplane, representing more distributing and sponsored nationwide by the great product Bud Light. He sets up for the Hammerhead turnaround. Out of the tail slide maneuver. Back on the tail he goes. One, two, and three legs of the airplane. High to your right. As he comes back in, watch for the computer roll. There will be a double snap roll to the right, a complete roll to the left, a half roll to the right, a half outside snap, a three quarter roll to the right, and a three quarter outside snap. Okay, the double snap, now a full roll to the left. Now, how about a half roll to the right? How about a half outside snap? How about a three quarter roll to the right? How about a three quarter snap roll back to right side on position? He turns around off on your left. You'll be coming back into that start finish pylon. At the controls of the Bud Light 200, he'll pull back on the stick at Air Show Center. He'll slice the horizon at exactly 90 degrees and start a roll right about in here. As the speed dissipates, he will start to slide backwards, but continue to roll the airplane with the torque of that great Lycon direction, that great Manitoc Aviation prepared light homing engine. Okay, straight down now, out of that torque roll. Now get ready for some action. As he brings the aircraft back in from your right, he'll be executing a maneuver known as the Cobra Roll. Originally invented by a Hollywood stunt pilot by the name of Frank Clark, at times it is called the Clark Roll. It will depict in the sky a Cobra snake in the striking position. As he comes back in from your right, we'll watch for the pull of the control stick right about in here. Now the push. Now the pull. Now the push. Now the pull. Now how about a quadruple snap roll? As the Cobra snipes right about in here, one, two, three, and four, and the Cobra roll is now complete. Off on the left now, the turnaround maneuver framing this great group of aerobatics is a vertical roll. He'll cap it off with that hammerhead turnaround. And then he'll come back in and show you how technology has changed so much and what is required in performance of an aerobatic airplane. As he sets up for the looping maneuver, on the top of the loop he'll snap roll into knife edge flight and actually draw out the top of the loop with one little dip towards the sky and the other one towards the ground, actually riding on the fuselage. As he gets towards the top of the loop, there's the snap. He'll put it on the wingtip, feed in runner, arc it across the top, a quarter turn. Once again, has him in the original direction of flight and the knife edge loop is now complete. Now as Leo turns around off to the right and comes back in, he will again be choosing the air show center to pull back on the stick. Again showing you the great performance that he has built into the Bud Light 200. He'll do a sectional hammerhead at air show center, kicking in the rudder four distinct times. All right, coming down from your right once again, looking for a speed of about 185 miles an hour. Working right off the deck as he finishes. The pylon exactly in front of us, he pulls up. Now he'll stop, showing us the bottom wing. Now let's kick the rudder once and hold it there. Still climbing. Number two, number three, and number four, and the sectional hammerhead is now complete. All right, now maneuver performance in his aircraft. He will be drawing out the S in the sky. He'll do it the hard way, defying gravity from the ground up. As he starts out, with the bottom of the S right about in here. He'll hold it to the inverted flight position and roll to the right side up position, hold it there and continue to climb by pushing the stick forward ever so gently, bleeding off speed, not by not. Continuing to push the stick forward in a zero G environment and now the vertical S is complete. Let's watch the wingtips now as he begins to light off those wingtip smoke canisters. They should be red and we should see them right about in here. And we know it's time then to go to the cockpit of the Bud Light 200 and listen to Leo for the dedication of the next maneuver. Bye. 
Bob Hoover, the tumbling maneuver known as the Lump Shiva. Czechoslovakian slang for the equivalent of drinking too much plum Trump. <laughs> I have been drinking too much plum brandy. Leo had me going on that one. <laughs> Is this day number four? Okay. Tumbling, hand over in the nose over tail in the maneuver known as the Lump Shiva. Over the top of his ribbon right there. It is just a little bit off to the side of the checker start finish pylon. Leo's going to turn the Bud Light 200 around. We'd like to again thank Maury Distributing. They're the folks that bring you the great taste of the Anheuser Busch products. That's the full length of the year show line, giving you a very brisk wave there. And yes, he is a happy camper today. A beautiful Sunday. And a beautiful last day for our 30th anniversary races. Okay, now keep your eye on Leo, because it's not over until the wheels touch down. High to your right, believe it or not, he is on final approach. On final approach, very high, and now as he points the nose down very fast. Too fast and too high to land, you might say. Well, remember who you're looking at. Down into Hoover Canyon, comes up out of the canyon. A couple of very quick rolls, still on final approach, still lined up on the runway. One, two, three, four. Still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. Now into knife edge flight. The wings come somewhat level. A side slip maneuver, throwing the fuselage into the wind, creating a lot of drag without using up too much runway below him. And at the start finish, pylon touches down the Bud Light 200 with ease and grace. Well, in addition to all the things I told you about Leo, he is the recipient of eight gold, five silver, and two bronze medals in World Aerobatic Competition. The first and only Victor Award ever bestowed on aviation, putting aerobatic flying on a level with other great sports figures, such as Johnny Rutherford, Sugar Ray Leonard, Magic Johnson, and George Brennan. Leo was inducted to the, into the New Jersey Aviation Hall of Fame with co-inductee astronaut Wally Sherrod. He is the recipient of the Cliff Henderson Aviation Award, inducted into the International Aerobatic Hall of Fame, a recipient of the Bill Barber Showmanship Award, and a recipient of the Art Scholl Showmanship Award as well. We would like to thank Manitoba Aviation and Bud Light for bringing Leo to us this weekend and Maury distributing his sponsor here at the 30th edition of the Reno Air Races. We're gonna bring him up and bring him out of the cockpit for just a while. You'll be able to read the sign on the top of the aircraft. Let's see if he's going to take a bow. Yes, everybody wave at Leo, if you will, as he takes a well-deserved bow all the way around the race course to the racers. And now shuts down the engine of that beautiful and sleek aircraft. Just one of the aircraft in the Bud Light Air Force. The other one, the world's smallest jet, the Bud Light Jet. Well, let's bring him out at this time, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for your Sky Champion and the man, the American, all the world looks up to, Leo Lovenslager and the great airplane of Bud Light 200. Thank you, Leo. Thank you for a great job. And thank you for your professionalism all throughout the course of this race week. Sandy Sanders, back to you.